I met Frank Monteleone about five or six years ago. I was uh, his son Michael's teacher uh, when Michael was in eighth grade, and um, we got off to a, a very positive relationship from the start. Frank's one of those guys that uh, behind the scenes he works just tirelessly for us, and a lot of people don't really know who he is. Um, so it makes me really happy that, that we're doing this for him. I met Frank about six years ago when the athletic complex became a reality and we worked together very closely for many years to, to see this to fruition. The Duffield Sports Center was built because Frank Monteleone and Jim Callahan spent two years of their life dedicating themselves to it. It could not have been done without their dedication. When Frank was an APA president, him and I worked uh, together on a lot of uh, things involving the cadets. And then more recently, I was with him to help hire our new chef, uh, Frank, in the mess hall, and he's doing a great job, and also uh, helped him with the um, bookstore, which the cadets are now uh, very happy about. They've got a lot more stuff in there that benefits them, and I think a little bit cheaper prices. And He's helped us out in so many different areas, it would be hard to find one particular area that he's, re that he's really shined in more than others. There's no task that when Frank is put on, doesn't get done extraordinarily well and it's on time and it's financially efficient and you know sometimes you've got to break a few eggs to get that done but uh, Frank's the guy. He can be kind of tough he makes sure that he watches those financials very closely he holds me accountable but he also provides a lot of guidance and resources he'll call me up and say Janet you know we need to look at this or you know, maybe you need to do it this way. And so I really respect his expertise. Frank is really a fun person to work with because he's always got a unique way of looking at everything. It's never a boring meeting when you're working with Frank. Frank is a very funny man. He's got a great sense of humor. Uh, he works very well with people. We all talked him into joining the uh, Parents Association. And boy, that was a great decision because Frank loves to give a great party. And the thing that Frank did, more so than I ever saw before, was he was always very sensitive about the cadets. And if we were having an event for the parents, Frank always said, wait, what about the cadets? What are they going to do? I think the kids really appreciated that. And so, you know, that's probably what I remember the most. Frank, the party planner. <laughs> These are positions that are charitable. You do them on top of whatever you do for your life, right? And there's never a time that Frank isn't completely committed and, uh, and in the car, driving down here for every and any meeting that he has to attend. You know, he runs a huge corporation. He doesn't need to be here to help us, but he believes in what we do here. He's always believed in what we do here. And uh, he donates a lot of his time and energy to us and to the cadets. And he's just that kind of guy, you know, he puts others before himself. It's easy to say that Frank's contribution has been immeasurable. Frank really cares, he really truly cares about the kids, the academy, everything that we represent. I think I speak for the board. We want to say thank you and really make him understand how crucial his commitment has been to this school. It's about honor, it's about commitment, it's about integrity, it's about respect, it's about compassion, it's about gratitude. And Frank's the embodiment of all of that. He is to me.